Hi everyone, welcome to Rise Up Assignment 10, where we're going to learn about the effects of redlining on New York City today. So our aim is how has redlining affected Brooklyn today, even though it ended in the 1960s. So I'm going to do a mini lesson video here where I review what redlining is and what its effects are and how it ended. Okay, and then I'll have another video where I go over um, your assignment is about maps. So I'll use the other video to go over how to answer the questions about different maps that have to do with redlining and Brooklyn neighborhoods today. So um, quick review, what was redlining? Well, redlining took place from the 1940s to the 1960s, and it was um, a strategy that the, uh, the government and banks used together to segregate neighborhoods or to keep different races separated um, in neighborhoods. And basically what happened was um, banks, um, and the government, they, they drew up maps of different cities or different areas, and they would mark different neighborhoods um, in different colors based on whether they thought that neighborhood was dangerous or not, okay? And so if you lived in a dangerous neighborhood, which was one that was marked in red, all right, um, that meant you were not allowed to get a loan to buy a home, all right? And what qualified as a dangerous neighborhood? Well, sometimes it went based on crime rates, um, but oftentimes it went based on the race of the people that lived there. So if it was a mostly black neighborhood, a mostly Hispanic neighborhood, mostly immigrant neighborhood, oftentimes that neighborhood would be labeled as dangerous. And people in those red neighborhoods, those dangerous ones, um, mostly black and Hispanic people, were not allowed to get homes to buy loans. If you lived in a neighborhood that was not dangerous, in other words, in a neighborhood that was mostly white, um, then your neighborhood was marked in green, yellow, or blue, and yes, you could get a loan to buy a home, okay? Um, now, technically, right, um, well, first of all, obviously, this is very bad for uh, minority communities. It meant that a lot of um, minorities were not able to get home loans, right, that they were stuck in neighborhoods that had high level of, of crimes. Um, they couldn't move into new neighborhoods, right? Um, now, technically, redlining was banned in 1968 with the Fair Housing Act, okay? But a lot of its effects um, still continue today, right? So since 1968, it's technically illegal for a bank to deny giving a home loan to someone based on their race, right? But still today, we can see some of the effects of redlining. Um, because in the 1940s through 60s, Black people were unable to get loans and buy homes, right? They weren't able to, to get homes and pass those uh, homes down to their children, right? Their black families could not grow their wealth. And so because of that, today, there's a big wealth gap. That means that today, because white families back in the 40s through 60s were able to build up their wealth, their money, right? Today, white families are worth a lot more on average than, than black families, even though this ended in the 1960s, okay? Um, in fact, it, it's, uh, as you can see in the image here, right, um, <clears throat> the average wealth of white families is about 16 times the average wealth of black families. And the average wealth of white families is about 14 times the average wealth of Latino family, right? That's a big gap. Um, what it has also led to is racially segregated neighborhoods, all right, meaning neighborhoods where you have almost all white families in one, and then almost all black families in another, and then almost all Hispanic families in another, right? That still happens a lot today. Even though it's not done by always by the law, right? It still happens today, um, which also has led to a lot of racially segregated schools. Since in most places, schools, you know, you go to your school based on what neighborhood you live in, and if neighborhoods are segregated, then schools are segregated too. So that's a big problem um, that still exists today. Right, even though the redlining technically ended in 1968. So um, that's my mini lesson for redlining. You're gonna use that um, to help you complete the assignment. I have put a vocab guide here, all right, with images um, to help you, you know, with any of the confusing vocab words. But if you wanna help, if you want help answering questions about the maps, look at the next video, which is the map read aloud. Okay, thanks team.